going to be reviewing the Sapphire Scientific Striker Wand. I know it sounds like a mouthful, but actually, it's actually a pretty neat wand. It's very lightweight. It's got an ergonomic handle. It's got a rotor molded construction along with stainless steel two inch tube running through it. Seems like it would maximize the vacuum. Uh, the head is rotor molded, like I mentioned. It's got a slide on it. We can adjust your vacuum back and forth in case it locks down on carpet. I have talked to a couple of owner operators who own this and they've mentioned to me that it has a tendency to lock down. They just adjust the vacuum outward and that makes a difference. Also, they said you can clean on the forward and the reverse stroke. So you never have to cut off the ball valve unless you're just doing only dry strokes. And some say it's necessary, some say it's not. That's why I'm going to give it a shot today. So let's take it inside and give the Striker One a good opportunity to see what it can do. opportunity to use the striker wand throughout the whole empty house that I just did right there. And a couple of things I liked about it and a couple of things I'm not so sure about. Let's go ahead and bring out what I liked about it first. First of all, I like the fact that it's lightweight, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video. It is ergonomic. Now what I did find though, maybe I'm just used to the other style wands, the way I hold them. This ergonomic handle, I noticed my wrist was tightening up and it was kind of really hard to move after a while. I had to switch hands on a constant basis. Other than that, I still thought it was fairly easy to use. I like the ball valve that it has. I thought that was pretty slick. I like that. But like I showed inside the video, do not walk around with the wand up with the ball valve on because it's not like a continuous flow tool where the water seats back to it. It goes straight down and then it's vacuum. So that's really important to make sure you know that. Um, I did notice on that polyester carpet that I was using in there that the head had a tendency to skip like some glides do. And to make up for that though, I was able to grab the front of the handle and push back and forth applying pressure and that took care of that problem. Also notice I really didn't like the way that it cleaned spots. I thought it could have done a better job of scrubbing spots, but that probably has something to do with the style of glide and the lightweightness of the head. On the other hand, I did like the fact that it generates a lot of heat, especially if you've got a fuel fire unit like I have. You've got constant heat, carpets and drying room very fast also because of the way the wand is designed. One other point I noticed about the wand, I like the fact that it's got a low profile. It's very easy to get up on the furniture. Even though this is an empty house, you can tell by the way it's built with the S-Bend, it'll be very easy to get up under things. So overall, what do I think of the tool? I think it's a great tool. I feel like uh, there is a new one coming out I've heard and I feel like they're probably gonna make a few changes. The gentleman I got this wand from, he felt like it could be constructed of higher quality. I found it to be okay quality. Uh, but he likes the fact that he wanted me to change over to heavier duty hoses and some stainless steel fittings inside of the hoses. He thought that could be improved and maybe that's going to be on the new model. Now, I would probably just use this on low soil or medium soil carpets. I wouldn't use it on heavily soil carpets or rat nasties like we like to call them on the forum. I would make sure I bring out my spray and vacuum wand for that like my titanium or my Westpac standard S-Bend wand if I could just clean better. Uh, it might take a little longer, but it's going to clean a little deeper. That is one thing about this unit, too. It does clean a lot faster because you're able to clean on the forward stroke and the reverse stroke. Now, if you're one of those people, and you shouldn't be, who doesn't like to pre-vacuum first, this is not the one for you because it's not going to pick up small or larger debris that's inside of the carpet. So make sure that you keep that in mind when you go to buy it. I was told the gentleman bought it for $7.99. That's probably a very reasonable price with all the technology that goes into this wand. Now, one thing I do on my truck is I like to keep two styles of wands on my truck. What do I mean by that? When it comes to my upholstery tool, I have one upholstery tool that's a continuous flow tool where I'll use in certain situations, especially when I'm working over hardwood floors or something like that, or light to medium soiled upholstery. Then I have my spray and vacuum one, which I'll use for heavily soiled, and that makes a big difference also. So, just like that, I think it'd be a great idea to have two different types of tools on the truck for cleaning carpets also. One like this right here for cleaning carpets, 
and uh, especially light to medium soil, and then the other one for heavily soiled carpet. So that way you got more tools in your arsenal and you can handle different situations. So overall, I give it you know, an A or an A minus. It's actually a great tool. Hope you enjoyed this review by Truck Mount Forums. My name is Rob Allen. If you have any questions, feel free to post a thread on Truck Mount Forums. If you're not a member there, come become a member and share in the community. Thanks a lot and have a great day.